everybody, how's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. Uh, today I want to show you a way that you can connect the different positions of the major scale or the modal shapes, however you want to, whatever, whatever you want to call them. This just can kind of help you to break out of the rut that sometimes you get of just staying in one position. So I just can kind of see the way that the, the scale patterns overlap each other across the fretboard. And you can do this you know, aside from just doing this, you know, you can just use what we're going to do here as like a run, but you can also use it as a way as you can take licks that you already know and then play them in each position as you move up across the fretboard. Anyway, be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look at this. All right, so we're doing this in the key of G major, but we're not, we're not starting on G. We're actually going to be starting on, on B. So we're going to be starting on the third position, uh, of the G major scale. So the third position is the shape, is the Phrygian shape. So if, if you do not already know these scale patterns and stuff, I mean you can learn this, what we're going to do here without knowing them, but it is extremely beneficial to know them. Uh, I did a lesson uh, quite a while ago where I went over all of the shapes of the um, all seven shapes. So I'll just leave a link for that video right here so you can you can check that out. Anyway, we're starting off here, we're in the, the Phrygian shape, the third position. And another thing too is that this is a movable shape. So once you get this down, you can move it around to play it in whatever key that you, you want to. So we're starting off here, we're on <clears throat> the seventh fret of the low E string, which is, is B. So we've got seven, eight, ten on the E string, and then seven, uh, nine, ten on the D string, or the A string. So that's like the first, the first six notes of, uh, of the third position, or Phrygian. I'm just going to call them by their, their model names just because it's just going to make it easier to kind of understand. So now we're going to shift up into the next position, which would be uh, the Lydian shape. And we're gonna we're gonna play uh, the fifth, the the fifth and the fourth strings. So here we're you know. <clears throat> so if you don't already know the sh the shapes overlap each overlap each other. So these two notes right here on the ninth and tenth fret of the A string are notes one and two of the next of the next position. So now we're gonna go starting on the A string. We're gonna go nine ten twelve, and then to the D string nine ten twelve. So. <clears throat> now we're going to go into the next position. So again, these two notes right here are notes one and two of the next position. So now the next position is uh, mixolydian. So we're going to go 10, 12, 14 on the D string, and then 11, 12, 14 on the G string. So. So now I'm going to shift up into the next position again. So this will be the Aeolian or the natural minor. So again, these two notes right here, notes two and three, three notes per string, so notes two and three on the G string of Lydian, or excuse me, of Mixolydian, those are notes one and two of Aeolian. So now we're going to shift up and we're going to play 12, 14, and 16 on the G string. And then we're going to go to the B string. 13, 15, 17. <clears throat> and then for our final position, we're going to go to Locrian. So these two notes are notes one and two, so we're going to shift up on the B string. We're going to do 15, 17, 19, and then to our high E. 15, 17, 19. All right, so what we've been able to do is we're still playing in key, but we're instead of being stuck, you know, just like the fridge, you know, playing Phrygian, whoops. 
we'd be just kind of stuck in that position. Or, you know, we do same thing. We're kind of stuck in these positions. So this is just a way to connect them together so you can move more, you know, this way across your fretboard. Now, I'm just alternate picking this, and if you know if you got this up to like a fast speed, it would be like a cool run. Uh, and you also want to practice it descending, so uh, descending. Whoops. You want to practice it both ascending and descending. Now, after you know the other uh, patterns you can do the same thing. You don't have to start here. You could start with the first position, which is Ionian, and then you would go Ionian through Mixolydian, or, you know, whatever you want. Like I said, they're movable. You can just move them around. So this particular thing, even though it's in the key of G major, and we're starting on B. So uh, to make it truly modal, then you'd have to have, you know, your chord progression, you know, kind of centering it around around that B minor chord, but we're not going to get into all, all of the all of the stuff, you know, details about modes in this lesson. So, after you get this down, then you can take other lick sequences that you already know are ones that we've gone over before, and you can kind of apply it to this. So I'm not going to go over a whole bunch of these, but just to give you an example, if we took... Uh, that was a one we did before. Now, what I'm doing there is I'm going one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, referring to the notes, because in this position, there's six notes. So you just do that as you move through the, the positions. just a second. And then you can do the same thing with descending, you know, there's lots of other, you know, lots and lots of different things that you could do within that. So the first thing you're going to just want to do you know, if you haven't already learned the modes, like I said, if you could check out that other lesson, you can learn those. It'll make this a lot easier, especially if you want to like hook other ones together. But in the meantime, you know that you can, uh, you can just do this sequence, and even if it's a song that's you know you're playing that's in the key of G major or B minor, you could still play this because all the notes are going to be in that key. It's just it's all, it's all kind of centering around, centering around B. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that and you got something out of it. If you like the lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if there's something that you'd like to see covered in a future lesson by myself or one of the other instructors at guitarcontrol.com. <clears throat> if you have not already done it, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. So that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.